شعت شموس الهدي بالكلمات فنارت الأفهام بالآيات أسرج بنور العلم عقلا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين الله سبحانه وتعالى سد ومن قتل مظلوما فقد جعلنا لوليه سلطانا فلا يصرف في القتل إنه كان منصورا My condolences to you all on the commemoration of Master of Martyrs Imam Hussein عليه السلام May Allah choose us to take his revenge with the awaited Imam Mahdi May Allah hasten his reappearance One narration has narrated that when Imam Hussein alayhi salam was distressed after being alone in the battle of Karbala, he entered Imam Zain al-Abideen's tent to tell him his farewell. And he said to him, Ya waladi ballig shi'ati anni salam. My son, send my salams to my Shia and tell them that my father has been killed and oppressed and has been martyred, so mourn for him. What did Imam Hussein alayhi salam present to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Karbala? And what did Allah honor Imam Hussein? And what have we given to Imam Hussein? The scholars say that Imam Hussein alayhi salam has given everything to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And by saying this word everything, we are not exaggerating. Imam Hussein has given everything to Allah. He has presented everything to Allah in the battle of Karbala. He sacrificed everything to make the religion stronger. He sacrificed everything and did not leave one thing that he did not sacrifice for. Imam Hussein sacrificed the greatest thing on earth and it is himself. Was there someone on earth greater than Imam Hussein? In that century, Imam Hussein had sacrificed himself. And when I say himself, I do not mean just the soul, just his soul. I mean everything he had and everything he owned. There is a popular hadith narrated from Imam Ali ibn Musa al-Ridha. He says, إِنَّ يَوْمَ الْحُسَيْنَ أَقْرَحَ جُفُونَنَا وَأَسْبَلَ دُمُوعَنَا why? He says that the day of Hussein has blistered our eyes and shed our tears. Why? Because Imam Hussein was killed? That is one of the reasons. Imam al Ridha then says, azizuna, meaning our darling has been humiliated. And the reason isn't just because Imam Hussein was killed. The reason, because القتل لهم عادة وكرامتهم من الله الشهادة Being martyred was a usual thing. There were things that happened to Imam Hussein alayhi salam that was worse than being martyred. Being martyred was the easiest thing that happened to Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Some of us do not even know what happened to Imam Hussein alayhi salam and cannot even handle to hear and mention what happened to Imam Hussein alayhi salam. If Imam Hussein alayhi salam sacrificed only one thing, one thing in Karbala, Islam would still have remained. Nonetheless, Imam Hussein continued to sacrifice everything because that would make Islam stronger. It was the greatest thing that Imam Hussein sacrificed for, and the easiest thing for him was sacrificing himself. There's a word that has been mentioned in history, which mentions and states the generosity of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Imam Hussein, he knows who he is. He knows who, he knows he's the greatest. He wanted yet to be martyred himself and leave his companions and families in good. He wanted to be killed without, the, without his companions. He wanted to sacrifice the pain and feel the torture, but he wanted his companions and family to remain harmless. And that is exactly what happened. 
there were more than one or two misfortunes, many misfortunes that Imam Hussein has did not let his companions observe. He handled it himself. And these misfortunes are not lesser than being tortured and murdered. And the hardest thing that the master of martyrs, Imam Hussein, did was present his companions. That was the hardest thing that he sacrificed for. But in order to keep Islam remaining, he sacrificed his companions as well. He did not only sacrifice his companions, he sacrificed what was harder and more painful on his heart, which is his family. He sacrificed 17 individuals where there are none in this world that are similar to them. As narrated and mentioned in history, he did not sacrifice them for death only. He sacrificed them for a massacre, for being slaughtered. And was that enough for Imam Hussein to sacrifice for? No. He sacrificed what's more painful to his heart than that. I don't know if you've seen a woman on streets being beaten, which would be hard to see a woman being beaten than a man. How about if this woman is a little girl? That is more painful. How about if she was being beaten on her face? Imam Hussein sacrificed his daughter Sukaina. Imam Hussein sacrificed what's more painful than this. He sacrificed his sister Zainab to be captive and presented to Yazid. Imam Hussein presented everything to Allah in Karbala and sacrificed for everything. The majority of us do not know what Imam Hussein sacrificed for in Karbala. And many of what Imam Hussein sacrificed for did not even mention or be mentioned in history. And Ahlul Bayt never even mentioned them due to its severity and its intolerance. Thus, this is part of what Imam Hussein gave to Allah and presented to Allah and sacrificed for in Karbala. Now, what did Allah honor Imam Hussein for these sacrifices? Allah's name is Ash-Shakur, meaning thanking. If a creator was to give one small thing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah would thank them double what they gave. Imam Hussein has given everything to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What did Allah give Imam Hussein? And I am saying this word with my full clear mouth. Allah gave Imam al Hussein everything. Everything, what we read about and what has been narrated in history from the four lives, the life on earth, the life in Barzakh, the life in grave, and the life in Qiyamah, the day of judgment, and the life in heaven, Allah has gave Imam al Hussein everything. Let's mention some of the things that we see in this world today that Allah has given it to Imam Hussein when it comes to commemorating the martyrdoms of Ahlul Bayt, anyone from Ahlul Bayt, do we see the same thing happening to them as we see it happening for Imam Hussein alayhi salam? All people around the world get ready for Muharram. They wear black. They plan those majalis. People leave their homes, their mosques. Their, they just enter the community centers to listen to these majalis. You see that they spend money just for Imam Hussein alayhi salam, more than what they do for any other commemorations. To any other Imam, do we see this happening other than Imam Hussein alayhi salam, his commemoration? It becomes bigger and greater because all people are around the world from every certain places, they all gather and they mourn on one specific day for a whole month. Who gave this to Imam Hussein alayhi salam? Allah gave everything to Imam Hussein alayhi salam in this world. And this is what you see today. Do you find someone in this world after many decades and many generations, people remember him and start to mourn with sorrow, grief and pain. And they are not just the Shias. 
And they are not just the Muslims, millions of people around the world. Do you find someone greater? Someone that millions all around the world would gather in one month and mourn with sorrow and grief other than Imam Hussein alayhi salam? Allah made these majalis. The Husseiniyat, the majalis, are the homes of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. How many Husseiniyat are there in this world? In one research in Bahrain, they said that there is only in Bahrain, a small country, 1,000 Husseiniyat. How many Husseiniyat are in there in this world? All those are the homes of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Do you find someone who has more homes? More than Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Who gave this to Imam Hussein? Allah gave this to Imam Hussein. Do you find miracles happening in this world as much as we find it happening with Imam Hussein alayhi salam? How many miracles have we heard and seen ourselves that occurred in the majalis of Imam Hussein alayhi salam? How many people who had no cure for their illnesses? They were treated from just coming to these majalis for Imam Hussein alayhi salam, crying and asking for treatment. How many prayers that were not accepted and not responded and they were answered by these majalis. Allah gave this to Imam Hussein. Aren't these miracles? Who gave them to Imam Hussein? Allah did. And maybe so many of you have tried it with your own self. That there are doors that are closed in your face. And you start to lose hope. And then you see them opened in one of these majalis of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. How many miracles have we seen in this whole world that Allah gave to Imam Hussein? If we had time, we would keep going on and on with more information of what Allah gave Imam Hussein in this world. However, this is also part of what Allah gave Imam Hussein. In the life in grave, in Alam al-Barzakh, what did Allah give Imam Hussein? There are things about Imam Hussein alayhi salam we don't even know about. Imam Sadiq alayhi salam says that in الَّذِي يَلِي حِسَابَ nas قَبْلَ يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ Which is Alam al-Barzakh, al-Husayn ibn Ali. The one who is held accountable to discipline or honor people in grave in Alam al-Barzakh is Imam Hussein alayhi salam. He is the one who is responsible to discipline you or to honor you if you did something good. And those who visit Imam al Hussein in this world, Imam Hussein will visit them in their grave. Although in the life of Qiyamah, in the day of judgment, there are many things that Allah gave Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Just in the Day of Judgment. Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam, she herself will act part of what happened in Ashura. A huge part of the Day of Judgment is Ashura. In a matter of fact, in the Day of Judgment, there is a narration that states, you see people being questioned. And the ones who visit Imam Hussein alayhi salam in this world, those people came to the Majalis Imam Hussein alayhi salam and cried on Imam Hussein alayhi salam, those people who donated to Imam Hussein alayhi salam, all those people who did something to Imam Hussein alayhi salam in this life will be sitting with Imam Hussein alayhi salam. So there will be no lineup for them in the Day of Judgment. There are people waiting to be questioned, millions of people on the Day of Judgment, and those ones are sitting with Imam Hussein alayhi salam, talking to him. The narration continues and it says that the Hur al ain would call them and would say, why don't you look at us? They would tell them, we're busy with the, the nur of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Who gave this to Imam Hussein? Allah gave it. There are so many other narrations that narrates what Allah has given to Imam Hussein on the day of judgment. Allah gave Imam Hussein everything in the four lives, in the life on earth, the life in grave and the life in the day of judgment and the life in paradise. This is part of what Allah has given to Imam Hussein. Now what have we given to Imam Hussein? Let me mention three quick points. The first point is that as much as we give to Imam Hussein it will not be enough. We won't 
equal one thing that Imam Hussein has given to Allah to save the religion of Islam. And on top of that, we have to give Imam Hussein Alisan. It is not a favor from us. It's the right we owe Imam Hussein. We are responsible to take action in, in this regards. This is what's narrated. وَفَضَّلَ الْأَرْضَ وَمَنْ عَلَيْهَا Allah Ta'ala gave each and one of us a responsibility to owe back Imam Hussein for the blood that he shed on the day of Karbala. We are not giving Imam Hussein a favor. We owe him back. Thus, anything we give to Imam Hussein will be counted, even if it's a small thing. Imam Hussein would consider it. And nothing gets lost with Imam Hussein. Us as human beings, we should not say, I can't do anything. Everyone can do something, even if it's a small thing. But we should always aim for the higher and the better things to present to Imam Hussein. The last point, and I conclude with a very astonishing story. In Karbala, there were a group, people, of men gathered to expand the shrine of Imam Hussein There were houses near the shrine back then. So people used to live in meters, meters away from the shrine of Imam Hussein So they decided to come and buy those homes and demolish them to make the shrine bigger. They came to one man and asked him, how much would you like to sell your home? Just sign this check or sign this paper and we will buy the home from you as much as you want. The man accepted the offer. But his home was old, it was dirty, it was rusty, there was no electricity. So he decided to fix it. The neighbors around him started to assume that this man wants to sell his home with a higher price. That's why he's renovating it. Couple days passed by and those group of men came to the man and told him that we are buying your house today from you. This man said, I am not selling my house. They said, you said you're going to sell your house. He said to them, yes, I accepted and agreed, but I do not owe nothing but this house. And I felt shy to present it to Imam Hussein alayhi salam it being rusty, no electricity, it's not been painted. So I renovated it and I fixed it to present it to Imam Hussain It's a gift and I don't want to sell it. I'm gifting it to Imam Hussain Because this is the only thing he has. This is how we should present things to Imam Hussain When you want to cook rice, for example, make sure you choose the best type of rice, not the cheapest. Once you want to serve water or drinks, you should choose the best type. Don't go cheap with Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Anything you do for Imam Hussein alayhi salam, choose the best type, the most expensive thing to present to Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Inshallah, everything we present to Imam Hussein alayhi salam, we see it in this world before the hereafter. Wa sallallahu ala sayyidina wa nabina Muhammadin wa ala ali bayti al-tayyibin al-tahirin. نص الحديث عن الإمام الصادق صلوات الله عليه يقول إن الذي يلي حساب الناس قبل يوم القيامة هو الحسين بن علي صلوات الله عليه لا عجب في ذلك من الذي يتولى قبض الأرواح بإذن الله تعالى ملك الموت من الذي يتولى حساب الناس قبل يوم القيامة سيد الشهر